now you can decide which operating system do you want to use, PrimeOS or Atlas OS. Today I'm going to show you how to dual boot Atlas OS and PrimeOS. Atlas OS is super light modified version of Windows 10 22H2 and PrimeOS is probably one of the best Android operating system with Google Play Store. So let's get started. My friends, we are in the Windows 10 and first of all, I will open this short instruction just to show you what we're going to do today to dual boot Atlas OS and Prime OS. First of all, we need to download Rufus and create the bootable USB drive with Windows 10. Open your browser, in my case, I will use Google Chrome browser, click on it, then you need to type next, Rufus, download and press enter. On this page, you need to select Download, click on it. From this website, we can download the latest Rufus version. For example, I will download this portable version. Click on it. Okay, after you successfully downloaded Rufus on your laptop, you need to click here and select Show in Folder. Excellent. We can close this window and now I recommend to insert your USB stick. I want to remind you that it will be better to have a USB stick that at least has 8 gigabytes of storage. I think it will be perfect. I insert my USB drive. Now we can run this program. Click on it. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no. We are in the Rufus, the latest portable version. In this case, you may see device and we need to select our USB stick. I will select my USB drive and yes, it has 8 gigabytes of storage. Then you need to do next. You need to click here, show application settings. Repeat after me, click here and select daily default. Now you need to select close. Literally, we need to close program and one more time open it again. In my case, I need to go to the downloads folder, click on the Rufus and voila. If we click here, you may see download option. Now you need to select download, download ISO image. Literally, we need to download Windows 10 ISO file. So we need to click here, select Windows 10, then continue, wait a few seconds. Of course, I want to remind you it is necessary to be connected to the internet. Now we can select the version which will suit us the best and in our case I recommend to select the latest version 22H2. Then you need to select continue. Leave everything by default because we have only one option. One more time click here. Then you can select the language which will suit you the best. I will leave English international. Click here. And finally you need to click download. Select the place where you want to save Windows ISO file. For the example, I will select Downloads and click Save. After that, the ISO file will be downloaded on our system. I will cancel this operation because I already have an ISO file. But you just need to wait. After you downloaded Windows ISO file, one more time check if your USB stick is on the right place, select your USB drive, then click here and choose your ISO file. In my case, I need to go to the desktop, Windows 10 22H2 International. Select Open. Now very important moment, here you need to leave standard Windows installation. If your laptop or PC support UEFI, you can leave everything by default and click Start. But if you have quite old computer, I recommend to click here and select MBR, which literally means Legacy. My laptop Lenovo L430 support Legacy and UEFI, in this case I will select MBR. Then you need to click here on Start. If you wish, you can check all of this option. For the example, you can disable data collection, create a local account. Also, you can disable BitLocker. I will check all of this option and click OK. I want to warn you that all information will be deleted from your USB stick. Click OK. OK. Of course, we just need to wait and after that we will proceed to the next stage. Great, we create a bootable USB drive. Now we can close this window and safely remove our USB stick. Click here and select your USB drive. Gently remove your USB stick and shut down the power. After we create a bootable USB drive with Windows 10, we need to insert it into our machine. 
turn on the laptop and enter the BIOS. I always say that every computer, every laptop may be different. To enter the BIOS, you need to press F1, F2, F10 or delete key. I recommend to check on the internet which key you need to press in your model to enter the BIOS. In my case, I need to press F1 key. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1. We are in the BIOS and now we need to find boot option. Every BIOS may be different, but boot option is available in every single BIOS. In my case, I need to go to the startup. Here you may see boot. Press enter. As you can see, this is my HDD drive. It is in the first place. If you take a close look, this is my USB stick and I need to move it up. You will find information in your BIOS which key you need to press to move it up or down. In my case, I will press F6. Voila! Now my USB stick is in the first place. And now we just need to save the changes and restart the computer. Exit saving changes. And press yes. We are in the installation window. You can choose the language which will suit you the best. Click next. Then install now. You can enter your license key. If you want to activate Windows later, select I don't have a product key. Then choose the Windows Edition. I will select Windows 10 Pro. Click Next. It is necessary to check this option. Select Custom, Install Windows Only, Advanced. I want to warn you, all information will be deleted from your HDD or SSD drive. Now we need to delete all partitions. For this we need to select Partition and click Delete. OK. Repeat the same process to each of these partitions. Delete. After you deleted all partitions, we need to allocate space for Windows. Select New. For example, I will allocate 80 gigabytes. I think it will be more than enough. For this, I need to type next 83,000 megabytes. Select Apply. OK. Perfect. As you can see, we have 81 gigabytes for our system. Click here and then select Next. Now you just need to wait until Windows will be installed on your HDD drive. After installation, the laptop will restart and you need to enter one more time BIOS, but this time you need to set up your HDD drive to the first place. So enter the BIOS, I will press F1 key, I will go to the startup, select boot, and I will move my HDD drive to the first place. OK. After that, save the changes. Then you can see Windows 10 logo. Literally, we need to wait until all the services will load. It may take some time. It all depends on your hardware and on the speed of your HDD or SSD drive. Great, now we can proceed to the next stage. First of all, I recommend to select this option. I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. Wait a few seconds. And again, we are in the Windows 10 22H2 version. As you can see, I saved instruction and screen recording program just to make it more convenient. After installing Windows 10, we can check for the latest updates. And for this, we need to connect our computer to the internet. After you connected your machine, you can go to the settings and check for the latest updates. Click on updates and security. Select Windows Update and if you wish you can check for the latest updates, it all depends on you. Then you can close this window. Very importantly to disable Microsoft Defender before downloading Atlas OS. One more time, let's go to the settings. Choose Update and Security. This time select Windows Security. Open Windows Security. Click here. Scroll down a little bit until you will see Manage Settings. Click here. I recommend to uncheck all of these options. Let's proceed to the next stage. We need to download Atlas OS and for this we can open Microsoft Edge browser. Here you need to type next. Atlas OS. Download. Press enter. Then you will find this website atlasos.net download. Click on it. Choose your Atlas. For this we need to scroll down a little bit and as you can see we have Windows 10. Click on it. Please pay attention. We need to download this file and the second one. Atlas Playbook. Click here and the loading process will begin. And do the same thing here as well. Click on it. As you can see we successfully downloaded Atlas OS important files. Show in folder. Close the browser. 
Then you need to open each of these files and move it to our desktop. In this folder I recommend to move only this file Atlas Playbook. Move it to our desktop. And the same thing we can do here. OK, after you unzip the archive, you need to launch this program. Click on it. We are in AME Wizard Beta. Click here, select Atlas Playbook, click Open. In my case, I need to click Next, but if you don't disable security, you will need to run this action and disable Microsoft Defender. Click Next. Don't be shocked if you see this message, requirements not meet. We need to click here and run the action. Now you just need to wait until it will prepare the system and the laptop will automatically restart. After restart, this application will automatically launch, but if it doesn't, you can click on it one more time. Click here, but this time our system meet the requirements. Click next. In this case, you need to agree with license and several times click on next. Agree. Next. This process may take a while, it will modify your Windows 10 22 H2 version, remove a lot of useless components, etc. I recommend to be patient and wait until the process will finish. We successfully modify Windows 10 and install Atlas OS. Now you may see the specification of my system and the version of the Windows. Windows 10 Pro 22H2. After hold this process, we need to create partition for Prime OS. I will delete this file because I don't need them anymore. So let's create partition for Prime OS. I will move this PC to my desktop to make it more convenient. Click on this PC, then click on the right mouse button, select Manage, click on Disk Management. Here we have unallocated space. So what are we going to do next? I'm going to allocate space for Prime OS. Click on the right mouse button, then select New Simple Volume, click Next. I will allocate 31,000 megabytes, which literally means 31 gigabytes. Then you need to click Next. Very important moment, please pay attention, you need to select this option, we don't need to give letter in this case. Click next, leave all these options by default, click here and finish. Perfect, we create a new simple volume and as you can see we have less than 31 gigabyte of space and that's normal. Also I recommend to allocate space for windows, for this you need to click on the right mouse button and one more time select new simple volume, click next, next. This time we need to give letter for our partition, click next and next, that's all. Wait a few seconds. We successfully create partition for PrimeOS and allocate space. Now we need to download PrimeOS and for this we need to open browser. You can see Microsoft Edge browser but to be honest this browser was removed by Atlas OS. We need to install a browser and the easiest way will be to go to the Microsoft Store and I will install Firefox browser. Click install. It is not necessary to enter Microsoft account so we can just close this window and the installation process will begin. After installation we can launch the browser. Then you need to type next. Prime OS. Download. Press enter. You need to click on this website. Link will be in the video description. We are on the Prime OS official website. From this website we can download Prime OS ISO file. In the device section select x86 please pay attention you need to click here and i recommend to select android 7 standard that's because this version works stably on all the devices and on newer devices because to be honest i have some problem with android 11 on my old laptop so definitely i recommend to select android 7 standard click on it finally click here and select iso click on download now you just need to wait a few seconds and downloading process will begin automatically. After PrimeOS successfully downloaded on your system, we need to one more time download Rufus. Type Rufus, download, press enter, select download, repeat the same process. I will download the latest portable version. As you can see, we successfully downloaded PrimeOS and Rufus. Very important moment, we need to insert our USB stick and launch Rufus. Click on it, select no. Also, you can close this window. In the Rufus, you need to select your USB stick. Then you need to click on select and find our ISO file, Prime OS. Open, 
Here you can also select MBR or GPT. I want to remind you that previously I chose MBR because I have a legacy, but if you have UEFI, you can select GPT. In my case, I will select MBR. All information will be deleted from your USB stick. Click Start, select this option and click OK. OK, wait until PrimeOS will be installed on your USB stick. We create a bootable USB drive, now we can close this window safely remove our USB stick and shut down the power to proceed to the next stage. Finally, we're going to dual boot Atlas OS and Prime OS. For this, I need to install my USB stick into the laptop. And again, we need to enter the BIOS and change priority. So we need to move USB stick to the first place. I will go to the startup, select boot. HDD drive is in the first place, but I will move my USB stick to the first place. Save the changes and the laptop will restart. Then you may see PrimeOS installation window. In our case, we need to select installation, install PrimeOS to hard disk. Press enter, loading process, you need to wait. Please pay attention and be focused. Now you need to select the partition which you previously allocate for PrimeOS. In my case, I will select this partition. Here you may see that I allocate almost 30 gigabytes of space. Press enter. You do not need to select none of this option. Select do not reform it. Press enter. Do you want to install bootloader? Select yes. In this case, you also need to select yes. Wait a little bit. The installer is going to create a disk image to save the user data. At least 512 megabytes free disk space is recommended. Be sure to select yes. Press enter. Now it is very important to enter space which you previously allocate. In disk management, I allocate 31 gigabyte, but in fact, I get only 30.2 gigabyte of space. And from this number, I will type only 30,000 megabyte of space, which means 30 gigabytes and press enter. Depending on how much space do you have, this process may take a while. So definitely I recommend to take your time and wait until the process will finish. And what do we see here? We successfully create a multi-OS bootable HDD drive, Atlas OS and Prime OS. So now we can reboot the system, press enter. But I want to remind you that we need to enter the BIOS one more time to change priorities. I will move it up and of course I will save the changes. And voila, now you can decide which operating system do you want to use, Prime OS or Atlas OS. I do not recommend to select this option because they will be more convenient for developers. You can select Prime OS or Windows. For example, let's select Prime OS, press enter. This is Prime OS logo. You need to type your username, I will type user, and you need to select time zone. Actually, that's all. You just need to type your username and select time zone. Click next. Agree with license. Accept. For people who don't know, Prime OS is actually one of the best Android OS which is available on the internet. Of course, in my opinion, we are in the Prime OS. And first of all, I recommend to connect your laptop to the Wi-Fi, to the internet. You need to click here, select Wi-Fi. Click connected. I successfully connected to the internet. Now we can go to the Play Store and if you pay attention, we have Google Chrome browser by default. I will click on the Play Store. Sign in your Google account. After signing to your Google account, you will be able to install games, for example, Odmar. Also, I want to mention that you can play Free Fire and it has nice compatibility and optimization if you want to play it using keyboard. Yep, we successfully installed Odmar and now we can run this game. We have only few applications, but they are very useful and popular. Google Chrome browser, Play Store, YouTube. Finally, let's launch this game. Click on it. My friends, please pay attention. If you take a close look, you may see that we have 26.4 gigabyte of space. Yes, I understood. We allocate 30 gigabytes, but we get less than 30. And that's normal. For the example, if you allocate 40 gigabytes of storage, you will get 35, 36. Don't worry about that. To run Odmar, you just need to click on play. But if you want to get the best performance, you can click here and select performance. Then you can click on play. 
Fellas, as you can see, we're running Odmar on Prime OS. This game well optimized so we can use keyboard without any problem. Definitely, this game is exclusive. It's available only on Android. I want to remind you that not all games well optimized to play them on keyboard, but as far as I understand, you can use key map option. That's mean you can manually set up keys which you want to use in the game. And of course, let's run Atlas OS. For this, we need to restart the system. Click here, restart, and voila, this time we can select Windows. Press enter, everything works. My conclusions, if you want to have Windows 10 Lite version and probably the best Android OS on a single hard drive, definitely you can do this. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know how to dual boot Tiny11 and FightOS, I recommend to click here on this video.